world class Danny Thomas, former WWF Hall of Famer Cindy Bartabella, bring to you and I the world class challenge here in Herman, Maine. Danny Thomas instructing our limitless faithful on exactly what they should be doing for the caliber of an athlete like world class. Paul Dowling does not agree. Come on, Sydney. You're a loser. You're an absolute You're welcome.
Jane believes that one suplex on the outside was enough to take down Alexander Lee. Alexander Lee already standing again. Janik seemingly surprised, comes in hot with the clothesline. Pulled over Alexander Lee. Lee hasn't even been able to get out of the gate. House of Fire. Back first into the steel post. And it was all because of that fan sitting ringside, according to Janet Thomas. Crown of Thorns. Hardcore Jesus! Hardcore Jesus! Sydney Bacabella doing the victory Jesus. circle. I do believe they think they've won. Herman now. Trying to rally behind their hardcore Jesus, Alexander Lee. Alexander Lee telling referee Eric Greenleaf he does not submit, he does not quit. We ain't got a word on this. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Greenleaf has just informed me that we cannot have the World Classic Challenge here tonight. However, however, Sydney and Channing, we can have the Alexander Lee Anything Goes No Disqualification Herman Street Fight! Street Fight! Street fight! Janet Thomas in a street fight! Yeah, you said it, Herman. And Alexander Lee uncorks one of those tried and true headbutts. Well, my God, has the momentum ever shifted? Now, hard into the turnbuckle goes Shannon Thomas. Alexander Lee. All of those implements, those toys that he brought to ringside with him are now on the table. Now Lee, mounting Thomas in the corner. Gonna rain down the right. Mongolian chop for great effect on number 10. Coming in hot. And Channing sent spiraling over the top rope. And Alexander Lee soaking it in. Sydney Bacabella, the master plan has backfired in spectacular fashion. Now Lee. In hot pursuit of the Golden Goose, Channing Thomas. And now, Channing Thomas being battered around the ringside area here at the Morgan Hills Event Center. Channing Thomas taking a seat beside Mike Poole. Being held in place. Oh no! Oh my God! Good God! Never mind the mark that'll leave. Nearly caved in his chest cavity, and Herman wants blood. Big wind up. Big follow through. Channing Thomas in agony. Sidney Bacabella on his bicycle. Staying as far away from Alexander Lee as humanly possible. And Alexander Lee enlisting the help 
of a steel folding chair. Taking his way to the entranceway. And that's the trash can. Oh no! I think that's good for three. No. Now, the wind up. The pitch. Right down the middle. Okay, okay. Little Tim Wakefield knuckleball out of Alexander Lee. Another steel chair. What's that enough? Oh, but the baseball slide. Channing Thomas. Call that a champ daminator. And now Channing Thomas. I am that steel chair. Bad intentions in mind. Thunderous chair across the spine, it's Sydney now. A club across the back, the aid of that Hall of Fame ring. And Janet Thomas, Janet Thomas, stand a bit of a taste for steel, bringing the steel chair into the ring. Stepping on the hand of Alexander Lee, remember anything goes. Oh, and Chan has got the staple gun. He won it. He won! Alexander Lee. Suffering another puncturing. Channing Thomas does not find himself in these situations often, but he's adapting with great effect. That knee drop already affected. Add a steel chair into the mix, but Alexander Lee still in it. Alexander Lee now busted wide open. That The blood time and away for Alexander Lee has started. The more blood he loses, the more the advantage slides towards Channing Thomas as the match continues. And Channing Thomas with trifecta of the Southern style forearms across the chest. Big back elbow. World class. Into the cover. No rope breaks here. Eric Greenlee checking the shoulders, oh. moving down. Oh. 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 Lee oh. rallying back. Oh my God. Grinding away at the base of Channing Thomas. Channing Thomas. Vision might be obscured. Wow, Lee's got, he's got the staple gun. Janet Thomas evading harm and returning in kind. Rough landing on the staple gun for Alexander Lee. Right between the eyes, so to speak. Channing Thomas now. Taking it on a brain buster, Alexander Lee though. Snaps off the suplex, Channing Thomas rattling off both chairs. Cover. Referee Eric Greenlee is showing us we're still in this contest here. The first ever Alexander Lee. Anything goes. No holds barred, no disqualification if it was a really long title. Street fight in any case. And now, going quarter to quarter. Channing Thomas though. Stopped short. Oh no! Rough landing for Channing Thomas. Now Alexander Lee. That trash can in hand. Caves it across the skull of Channing Thomas. Alexander Lee. 
that senton death machine. And Alexander Lee delayed a moment. Cover now. That rough landing for Lee across the trash can. But Jan and Thomas enough time. For both combatants at this point. Running on you. Lee has the chance. Oh, corner to corner. Ooh. The flying cross body into the chair in the corner. But what grit out of Channing Thomas still in it here. Sydney Bacabella coming unglued ringside. Hasn't seen carnage like this since the likes of his days managing Abdullah the Butcher. Alexander Lee, fireman's carry. Oh, but Channing out the back door. Coming in hot. Lee with the Buddha. Ascending. All the way up. Channing, not able to rise, Lee with the elbow drop. But oh, wait a minute, Greenlee. Sydney, Lee's got Sydney. Oh, Sydney. Wait a minute. Sydney nearly lost it for Channing. Neither Sydney nor Channing even have any idea. They are going to have words when they watch this back on demand on IWTV. Lee now, searching the underside of the ring for more plunder. Uh, that's one he made at home. A lot of barbed wire wrapped around that steel chair. Sidney Bacabella looks like he's seen a ghost. Alexander Lee, barbed wire chair extended. Channing narrowly escapes. Oh. He swung wild, Channing able to answer. He's got the barbed wire chair. What? Flies into the knee strike. Cover. One, two, three. Oh, that's it. Always big boy season. Oh, Slade, wasted no time. Sound the bell. No disqualification situation. Bell sounds. Won't be seeing any introductions for this. Ace Romero packing more power in the fist, but Slade. Jeez. Most of those nerve endings, you have to imagine, have been calcified by this point for Slade. Yeah, it certainly is. There is a certain bit of callus to the skin, the body of Slade. Ace Romero is going to be dragged into a deep end that he has not tasted since the days of AR Fox. Fans bring the weapons in Westbrook. But Ace Romero now carries the distinct powered advantage. It's going to be the never ending assault of Slade, the tenacity, repeated blows that could potentially net Slade the Limitless Wrestling World Championship. Yeah, Slade trying to take a literal bite out of his target. They may have just spit a piece of the ear yeah. of Ace Romero yeah. at ringside, but, but also Ace Romero has never mm. had the no ball mm. already. Okay. Slade was paying homage to one of his heroes, Mike Tyson, with the ear bite, and now he's paying homage to deathmatch heroes across the globe with that door, but Ace Romero, Having enough of that. He's gonna keep this, he's gonna keep this clean fisticuffs as long as he can. That's where he has the advantage. But Ace, well, Ace Romero. I'm sorry, we are just hearing a clatter. Okay, that answers that question. Ace Romero came prepared. Ace I was just gonna I was just saying that he was capitalizing on the bare knuckle advantage, the punching power. But Ace is engaging Slade in his natural habitat. Denting the trash can cover over the crazy.
stadium of Slade and Slade standing, welcoming another. Look. <laughs> more Slade, fired up, if anything. Slade thrives on the hardware. We watch the elbow strikes were knocking Slade down, but the hardware strikes are emboldening Slade. This may have been, this may have been a miscalculation. But Ace Romero, local hometown hero, can always draw from the energy of the Yarmouth faith. You're certainly right when he's, oh, oh, oh geez. Oh, God. Dangerous place to be, but no, head first, into the corner of the post. I mean, Johnny, you were alluding to the, the support of the Yarmouth faithful. We saw the, the entire room here come alive when Ace Romero secured the victory and, and finally won the Limitless Championship. And now he has that prize in his possession. It, it, oh, geez, but by hook, by crook, or by barbed wire bat, Slade is going to try and pry it from Ace Romero. Jeez. He looked at that barbed wire bat like steak enthusiast look at a filet mignon. Like, like an old friend. Yeah, oh my. Oh no, no, no. Digging into the, the forehead. Ace Romero more than willing to engage oh, all comers. Already bleeding from the top of the head. Romero. The break of the barbed wire. Breaking the skin. I mean, the head is one of the places I, I, I feel like Pulses blood the most. Yeah, right away. And now, Slade's next best friend, the steel chair. It's like a family reunion of sorts for Slade, seeing all of these uh, familiar weapons. Come on, Romero! Yeah, Ace Romero now. Now the stopwatch is ticking. Because now we, blood loss starts coming into the equation here in this main event. It wasn't just a superficial cut. You can see it was it was deeper, the blood pouring out. Now Slade, setting up his arena of choice. Door in the corner, chair in hand. And straight into the midsection of the champion, doubling over Romero. And now, too, blood pooling into the eyes of Ace Romero. Could it compromise the vision of the yes. champion? Especially somebody that dials in that lariat to notch those championship defenses. When you don't have the precision, the crosshairs aren't calibrated. Might not land. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slade gonna try and take... Oh, no, Ace! On the chair! Landed on the legs of the chair! High hopes for Slade, but came careening down with the body of Ace Romero. That was the great equalizer. Now Romero trying to make his way to his feet, using the ropes for some leverage. Instead, deciding to dip out to ringside. Now this is no disqualification, not false count anywhere. Ace Romero, in a way, finding refuge, but also finding more hardware. It is holiday season. Break out the cookie sheet for some, some Christmas cookies, some holiday treats. Yeah, it is the season not to be jolly, at least not tonight here at Dirty Laundry. Wishing you all very happy holidays, of course. Yes, indeed. I hope you're all getting the turbo man that you want. Whoa! Well, that was certainly not a present for Slade. No, not, not at all nestled safely under Johnny's tree. AC baby! Holidays are coming early. What is that? Oh! What did you get, Ace? Oh! Everybody's favorite painful multicolor building blocks. I have to believe that was a care package from our friends at Interspecies Wrestling. With love, oh, and with a senton for good measure. Oh, the Legos embedded in the back of Slade. He's gonna be wearing those little circular and square shapes embedded into his skin to match with the other battle scars. The Legos lodged in the skin of Slade. And you had alluded before, the blood potentially occluding the vision of Ace Romero. Now, south of the eye, how many times he's potentially had to wipe that? But, it's what got him to the dance. Controlling the pace, isolating movement, and laying down the leather. He's gonna 
have to stay on top of Slade because there are a lot of potential painful factors in this ring alone, much less the rest of the building here being full of potential. Slade now breaks away. Had enough time to recover. Follows up the right elbow with a second, make it three. And that's the thing, if Ace Romero slows down the pace, it is also giving recovery time to his opponent. Ace Romero, keeping himself in the fight. Takes off. Oh, but caught. Digging in, Slade is actually smearing the blood into the eyes of Ace Romero. Could be digging his fingers into the cuts. Slade loves utilizing that scissored body, uh, uh, that scissored sleeper. Ace Romero using that against him. Drives his body weight into Slade and into the pile of blocks. Yeah, Slade, uh, Slade was not able to get the full body scissor. Ace Romero keeping himself upright. Slade getting the worst of that. A lot of those Legos hanging on all the while. He's having to pick them out of his skin. Depending um, on how deep they're embedded. Oh, hang on. Got him perched. Oh, oh. Put on the brakes in time, did Romero. Jeez. Launched. Ace. Tuning up the band here in Yarmouth. He's got this comfort zone here in Yarmouth that he won't have in Worcester, Massachusetts at the end of the year. Got to keep that in the back of his head. Slade crushed with the clothesline. Jeez, barreling in, not once, but twice. Will we see a third from the champion? Jeez, swiped by Slade is Ace Romero. Assassin Blade style lariat. Don't know which part of Ace's head got the worst of it, but none of it was good. And now, Slade opting not to go for the cover. Instead, measuring AC Baby for what potentially the coup de grace. Oh, a little bit of support we're hearing for Slade here in Yarmouth, but cannot complete with the support we're hearing for the champion. She's laid out is Slade. And again, these, these Legos still in the center of the ring. I was just gonna say, you imagine what Slade could accomplish with a whole bunch of fan backup? The energy Even that I could dangerous. lend? God, he was already dangerous enough. But Ace Romero, Looking to eliminate that from the lexicon. Slade out the back door. The scoop! Slammed into the Legos! World Slade a slam, cover! Oh, two count only. Matchup continues. Not wasting time. No wasted motion. Still so laser focused on the champion. Sight set on limitless gold for Slade, but not if Ace Romero has anything to say. Death Valley Driver! Door shattering in half. Ace Romero to the cover. Oh, and it's not enough. Whether it's the blood loss, whether it's the, the deep dregs. Frothing. Frothing out the mouth. Voracious is Slade, but Ace Romero. Takes your best shot. Kicks out at what? Returns fire in that manner, but AC Baby, comfortable in the pocket, returns fire with the right hand. Slade barrels in, dodges out of the way, does Ace. Oh, geez, inside out goes Slade. I got all of that clothesline. Cover. Got it. Here is your winner, and still, Limitless Wrestling World Champion, Ace Romero. Ace Romero survived a, the most unique challenge of his Limitless Wrestling World Championship tenure thus far. First time.